Good morning, everyone. I'm Soph. These are my notes and Oh, stop it, you're making me nervous. You say butterflies, I say autonomic nervous system. Yes, let's talk ANS. The autonomic nervous system regulates all sorts of things, including heart rate and blood flow. And it has two arms, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic, AKA rest and digest and fight or flight. These two arms are constantly active in your body, but they work in opposition to one another, balancing out to suit whatever it is you need to do. So let's just say you've eaten a bang Quit. As the name suggests, the banquet and regret, aka the rest and digest, aka the parasympathetic arm of your autonomic nervous system, is going to kick into gear. It's going to become more active. Amongst other things that this does in your body, your blood is going to be sent to your stomach and your intestines. Blood carries oxygen, oxygen is needed to release energy, and in this case, that energy is needed for digestion, to digest your banquet. But the autonomic nervous system, the ANS, doesn't just help you out with what's going on there and then. It's also there to prepare you for what's about to happen. This is an advantage for obvious reasons, right? Like if you're about to get attacked by a horse. You don't want your valuable oxygen-filled blood and therefore energy being used for digestion. You need it to fight or fly. So you want it to get sent to your muscles, like in your arms to swing punches or to your legs. You can get out of the way if the horse. <laughs> when something triggers our sympathetic nervous system, adrenaline, aka epinephrine, howdy yanks, gets released. Your adrenal gland sits just above your kidneys, which get a pretty hefty blood supply, so adrenaline can get straight into your bloodstream quickly from the adrenal glands. This simp switch on has various cascading effects from high heart rate to increased sweating to blood being shunted away from our stomach to other places. All sorts of things can set this off from imminent horse projectiles to going on a first date. And not only does this blood diversion slow your digestion, but it also leads to the feeling of butterflies. It's thought that the butterfly feeling actually comes from a combination of your blood vessels and muscles contracting, but also your stomach's nerves telling you that they are not happy with the resulting reduced oxygen. I can't help but feel this is a message that has been very much misinterpreted by us. And that's what causes butterflies. But whilst adrenaline makes most of the muscles in your gut contract to slow digestion, there's actually one muscle that it relaxes, the external anal sphincter, AKA the AS. <laughs> that's a really stupid joke. Which is why nervous poos are a thing. And to be honest, I can't think why San Marino didn't include this information in last year's Eurovision entry. And I need a nervous poo. And that's it. I wanted to make a speedy video for a change and a challenge, and that was it. Like this video if you like it, share it if you share it, subscribe if you subscribe it, and comment with what makes you nervous. Do you even get nervous? There's a question. <laughs> Otherwise, all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching, have a lovely day, and remember, think fast! <laughs> <laughs> a big up and a big thanks to my patrons with a welcome to you, Adam, and a hello to Trov and Terry. I show this off at the beginning now. It's like a little pre-Easter egg. Mm. What you love is what ends up hurting you. Yeah. Get out of the way of the... <laughs> <laughs> Which ANS branch makes people obsessed with me is the sympathetic. <laughs> like simp, S-I-M-P, like when someone's a simp. Like in Wicked, Bok was a simp for Glinda. I could say simp. Pathetic, but that feels really, really harsh. So I'm not going to do that. Congratulations. Very pleased with myself, as you can tell. It's <laughs> not really stupid. That's it. Click here for some more, click here for one more, and click here for a cheeky little patron link. Adios.